Hi guys and welcome back to my Logic Pro X tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to answer some of the questions I've been receiving via um, my website and also YouTube. The main questions that I usually get are around vocal editing and how to make your vocals sound better. So in my last tutorial I showed you how to record multiple times, select sections of the vocals that you like and put them into one track. So this is what we used last time. Let's just play this back to make you familiar with what I've done before. Let's press the space bar button to press play. Well, I go be crazy. So if you recall, I recorded that live. Um, it's not, you know, excellent, but it's, it's okay for the sake of the tutorial. Um, so the first thing I want to do is join all these individual um, sections that I done into one track. So to do that, just highlight the track and press control and join. The shortcut to join all the vocals together is Command and J. And this will pop up. Um, just press create and now you can see we have one waveform. Um, it does it just makes it smoother and makes it a bit more easier when looking at the screen um, and that's just how I work anyway so the best tool I would say in logic in relation to vocals is the flex menu the flex menu is this button here so if you click on it it's now going to appear on the track the vocal tracks here, not only on the instrumental track here, but also on the vocal track. So we're going to work on this track, which is a vocal track. So if you select the downward arrow, you can select which tool you would like to use from the flex menu. In this instance, we're going to use the flex pitch tool. So once you press that flex pitch option, you'll see that your waveform looks like this. You're probably thinking, what is this? What does this mean? Why does it look like this? Basically, anywhere where the notes are facing upwards, these are your vocal notes, by the way, that means those notes are, con are deemed by logic as sharp. Anything downwards means flat. Anything on the line, like here and here and here and also there, they're deeming that as perfect pitch. Now, when I play the song, you can clearly hear nothing is extremely flat and nothing is extremely sharp. Um, but Logic tries to use a, a chromatic scale to determine whether your notes are sharp or flat. And if you use a lot of vibrato and things like that, or, or you sing in a certain style, Logic won't always be able to capture what you're doing. So you've heard how it sounds um, originally. Sorry, originally. So let's hear how it would sound if I made every single note in this vocals um, perfect pitch by logic. You're thinking, what? You can do that? Yes, you can. All you need to do is press control and click and select, select all to perfect pitch. Now, those notes are now deemed as perfect pitch because they're now all on the line here, all across here. Now let's hear this back and see whether we think it was perfect pitch. Well, I'm going be crazy. Now, most of that was corrected pretty well, but I don't know if you noticed, I think it was somewhere around here, it didn't sound so good. Let's play that bit back. It didn't sound right. So you're probably thinking, oh, well, how do I just change that section of the song and not the rest of the sections? So all you need to do is open up the editor track window but all you have to do is press E on your keyboard to do that and this will appear now make it a bit bigger because as I always say to you guys 
always make your editing win window big so you can see what you're doing. And you obviously have the zoom keys here, just like you do on the top of Logic up there. So let's just widen this out a bit and let's just play that loop section. So it's right here, right around here. More each day for it just sounds off. So, um, but we don't might not want to touch the rest of the stuff. Now you're probably thinking, what does all these squiggly lines mean? These things mean the free button, free little circles. I'm going to tell you what they mean. So the first circle is pitch drift. What that does is corrects your pitch. You can use this to change the pitch of the certain word or phrase that you sang. Um, also you've got fine pitch. Fine pitch is, makes you be able to do it a lot more finer, finer detail, small increments. Um, then you've got pitch drift, which is the same. Um, similar to fine pitch and uh, pitch drift is the same, basically, sorry. And then you have um, format shift and the gain, which is really important. So sometimes you can record a song and you're doing a little softer note vocal and then you play it back and you think, oh, it's so on point but it's too low, use this to turn up that word, you see, makes it bigger, and drag it down to decrease the volume of that word. Amazing. And vibrato. Now, I do have a lot of vibrato in some of my songs, and I'm a bit of a problem with that. Um, so I, I tend to use this a lot to sort out my vibratos. I'll show you an example of that afterwards. So let's get back to that section again. So, it's very, very tiny, but I can hear it. So, what we can do is play around with the um, the options that we have here with fine pitch, pitch drift, etc. So, let's move this down a bit and see if this makes a difference. That sounds a little bit better there, but then it was before that note that was the problem here. So let's see. More each day for. So let's try and bring this bit maybe down a bit. It makes that noise, by the way, when you're moving it. So don't get alarmed. Let's play that bit back. So it's this more each. So you can play around with this section to get as good as possible. But another technique you can do, which I generally, to be honest, do, is that I will highlight that section there. Set to original pitch that section and let's say art set to do that no not all of it just that one and this one set to perfect set to original pitch and let's just see how that sounds now so as you can see it sounded better originally so my whole point of showing you what i was doing there is to show you a you can manipulate sections certain words and sections if logic doesn't do the right pitch for what you, you know what you're trying to convey or you can set sections to back to the original way you recorded it and leave the rest that logic has done if it was pitch perfect because maybe it has made it pitch perfect now i touched on vibrato earlier so let's look at <laughs> some of my vibratos so as you can see here this word here I use a lot of vibratos, so I'm gonna just go into, sorry, just play a section. Oh, baby. baby. So, some people might say that's okay, but you might want it to sound flatter. How you do that is you just select the vibrato and drag it down like that. Now, listen to how it's gonna sound now if I dragged it right down like that. Oh, baby. Oh. Sounds a bit computerized, doesn't it? Let's play it again. Oh, baby. 
days. So you don't want to do that. You need your vocals to sound natural. So don't set things where you're going to sound robotic. So this make that a bit, have a bit of a vibrato now, like that. So you could do it like that. And then you can go really crazy and make it, make it worse. Let's make it worse so you can hear how that sounds. So if you're a person that can't ever do vibratos, you can really use this tool usefully. So let's just bring it back down like that because that is a better way of sounding. So that's, that's how you would correct your vibratos. So um, I know this is a short tutorial, but I really think it's one of the best ways to learn how to manipulate your vocals um, and make them sound better and easier and clearer. Um, also, just to touch on, you have a piano roll here, so you actually can change your keys to certain vocals to certain keys, like this. So, sorry, I know the noise is annoying. I don't know why Logic has that noise. But um, basically, my whole point is, you can do so much in this window, right here. Um, and then you've got the gain buttons, you can quantize, but that's another section, another day for another tutorial. Um, but my main point, again, is just, like I always say to you, practice makes perfect. Just go into flex, the flex tool here, select flex pitch, Press E to open up the editor video uh, window, sorry, and just play around with the vocals just to get an idea of how you can make your vocals sound better and do what works for you. The most important thing when doing vocal producing is having a good ear and also listening very clearly through headphones or good monitors how vocals are sounding. Do not rely on logic to make your vocals sound amazing. Try and make your vocal sound as good as possible yourself when you record and just use Logic as an extra tool where necessary. Now, if you have any more questions about this tutorial, please drop me a note. Um, I will be doing another tutorial on vocal editing next week. Um, and so look out for that tutorial. Thank you for your patience. I hope you find this useful and very clear. Many thanks. Put my hands to my toes, I let you play with my body, babe.